Get ready for your daily dose of WordPress and web development tips, tricks, and insights to help you find success with WordPress. You're listening to WP The Podcast with your hosts, David Blackman and Tim Streifler. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of WP The Podcast brought to you by WP Gears. I'm David Blackman. And I'm Tim Streifler. Today in episode 479, we're going to talk about what social channels you should be promoting on in 2019. And I'm going to give a shocker. We've only chosen two. And we're going to tell you why. Tim, why is, it, why is even promoting on social important? Yeah, so it all comes back to... Um, different pathways to your website, right? You want people to find your your website, and uh, you know people used to think that if you just create a website, people will start showing up. If you build it, they will come, which isn't true. They have to find you, and so that's why Google and search engine op- optimization is so important. But uh, social channels can be another way for people to to find you and come to your website. Maybe find you for the first time or come back to your website. And so, um, however. There's lots of different social channels. There's some that are, are popular. There's some that are you know small but growing, um, and you can spend, waste a lot of time trying to you know build up the profiles and, and promote on all the different ones. And uh, it can be a time suck. So in our opinion, our advice is choose the two that are the most popular that are going to yield you the most results. And I'll talk about the first one. Actually, I'm going to let David talk about the first one. I'll talk about the second one. Yeah, the first one is YouTube. Uh, I'm glad you let me talk about YouTube, Tim. Yeah. Uh, I am, well, first of all, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, only behind its parent company, Google. So um, it's huge. Video is huge. Engagement is huge. Um, and 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 ranking in the number two search engine in the world is a big deal. So Putting out uh, video content is really, really important. I think it's it's great for the engagement aspect, um, you know, because human beings are visual. We like interacting. We like seeing things. Um, I wish Tim and I did an actual uh, video podcast where we recorded ourselves as we record these and then posted them to YouTube. But alas, we'd have to get out of our pajamas, comb our hair and do that every day. And we don't really want to do that. So we got <laughs> the next best thing coming. We're posting our podcasts on YouTube starting immediately with closed caption. So if you, um, you know, um, Need that translated? It's going to be there for you because we feel like it's that important. We're just going to put the audios up on YouTube. So even doing that is going to benefit you long term. So um, not to mention the paid ads, the PPC that you can run on YouTube campaigns and stuff. There's so much valuable information out there on YouTube that it, it's just a platform that I we feel you can't ignore and that you should be focusing on in 2019 in some shape, form, or fashion. If you're producing content, you need to figure out how you can incorporate YouTube into your content marketing uh, calendar. Yeah. The next social channel you should be promoting on in 2019, you probably guessed it, and that's Facebook. Facebook is the most popular social channel. Uh, It's also um, either the top or top two uh, websites in the world. And so Facebook is absolutely huge. And so just because of that, that's where you want to be promoting because there's people there. And so uh, building an organic following is great. Um, uh, having Facebook ads is great too. Um, so you want to do, uh, ideally you want to be doing both, um, but at least post it, uh, uh, do, you know, free, uh, organic, uh, business page, um, at the bare minimum because it's free and there's users there. Uh, and so, yeah, that's definitely what we recommend doing. Now we could talk about Instagram. We could talk about LinkedIn. Uh, however, um, they just don't yield the same results as YouTube and Facebook, uh, at least in general, some certain niches, you know, maybe if you're, you're B2B in a certain kind of niche B2B uh, industry, uh, well then 
LinkedIn might be the place for you or, or Instagram, uh, you know, might be the place for you, depending on what you're doing. But overall, YouTube and Facebook are going to bring you more traffic. Instagram is kind of its own little platform. And so driving traffic from Instagram back to your website is a little more difficult because people are, are, are wanting to scroll through and look at photos and engage with content there. They're not really there to be taken off of Instagram. Um, like Facebook, uh, you can drive traffic and people are wanting to click on links and, and do different things. It's kind of more. Uh, more all over the place where, where Instagram is just kind of a, a visual platform, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. And just FYI, Facebook is number one. It's the number one website in the world. So um, okay. yeah. social channels are typically higher ranking because of all of the engagement that they have. So like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all of your social channels are the highest, you know, trafficked sites in the world, you know, even more so than Google. That may surprise you. Um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, they're all, they all outrank Google. Google's like top 10. It might, but I think it's sitting somewhere around eight, you know, and YouTube is like four. So that's how important the social channels are. Um, So, you know, these are two that we feel are important. Uh, YouTube and Facebook, obviously, if you've got the bandwidth, Go focus on Instagram, Twitter, all the other ones, because they they are valuable. But if you've only got so much bandwidth and time, focus your energies on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. One last thing I want to add here, we kind of implied it, but I want to just fully say it directly is you want to focus on where your audience is. And so again, if your audience is on Instagram, because maybe you're a photographer or or something like that, then yes, go there. Absolutely. Spend time there. But in general, because these two are the, the, the biggest and yield the best results, this is you for sure want to include YouTube and Facebook. All right. Tomorrow we've got another great topic for you. Um, Oh, wait, Tim, I can't tell him. Coming soon from WP Gears. Don't want to miss that one because we've got some awesome announcements. Tim, until tomorrow, we'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye. We've come to the end of today's episode of WP the Podcast. Join us tomorrow for more daily tips and strategies designed to help you run your WordPress business towards success. Remember to subscribe to WP the podcast so you can stay up to date with each episode. And don't forget to rate and review us. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on WP the podcast.